Hello and welcome back to the studio everyone. My name is Carson and this is K2 Productions as always. Today we are back for another installment in the Fives Art Trooper Helmet build. I know it's been a little bit of a long time. I've been super busy with school and it's kind of hard to get these videos pumping out all the time, but I will keep working hard and hopefully we will continue on through. Today I'm going to show you guys how I do some of the fine detailing, like all the stuff on the forehead, and then we're going to get some blue paint on it. So if you haven't checked out the other videos, I'll put a link right up here or down in the description. So definitely go check them out. But other than that, let's get right to it. Hey guys, so I finished taping off my whole helmet so you can see, you know, I got this bit taped off, uh, the cheek, the cheeks, the, the little vent looking things right there, in the back. So it's all taped off. So now what I'm actually going to do um, is I, I can't remember if it was Adam Savage who said this. Somebody said... I, I learned somewhere, I don't remember where, um, that when, you, when you're when you taping off stuff like this, it's sometimes a good idea to uh, give it a, <clears throat> give it a spray of the original color that it is right now, because it can help seal off any things that maybe, you know, like if a thing isn't, a piece of tape isn't quite pushed down, um, it could cover it up. So I'm gonna give it a paint a layer of, of white real quick, just kind of a light coat, especially like near the edges of all the paint. Um, and then I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna paint it blue. And just make sure that your tape is nice and pushed down all the way, best as you can. I'm just gonna get a nice light coat all the way around the edges of my teeth. There, so I painted all the edges of my of my tape, and now uh, I'm gonna wait, and then I'm just gonna go over all the edges again, just pushing them all down, making sure they're all nice and pressed down so that the blue can't sneak through anywhere, and then we're gonna paint it all blue. So hopefully it'll all turn out right and I'll check you back with you guys when it's time to paint for blue all right guys so I've come back and it's all dry now just that you know light coat of white that I did on everything so now I have my blue paint this is what I'm gonna use we'll see what happens it's backwards but it says two times ultra cover paint and primer blue gloss whatever um, it was the closest I could find on the hardware store um it wasn't really like there were only a couple blues okay i just picked the one that i thought I don't know. anyway um so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go around everything and just inspect all my edges make sure they're all pushed down as best as they can be so that my blue doesn't sneak in underneath uh, and hopefully that will work. I can see that some of my like, you know, tippy point spots are kind of, you know, like maybe not the best down. So I'm okay if it doesn't look like if there, if lines aren't like perfect and stuff like that, but, uh, it's not good if there's like overspray that gets through, you know, and it looks like, like it literally looks like a soft spray paint, you know, came through. That's not going to be good. Uh, if, if it's like, if it's, you know, just like the lines aren't perfect, that's fine. Cause it looks, Five's helmet looks, you know, like hand painted anyway. And I'm going to weather it. So it'll all be, uh, it'll all be, um, you know, not perfect anyway. So I'm hoping, you know, that 
this is kind of the scary, well, this isn't the scary part quite yet. Uh, peeling off all the tape is the scary part because, because uh, you can peel off all the tape and then find out that it has gone horribly. So, so, but this part's a little nerve wracking, but here, you know, here we go. So uh, I'm just gonna do really super light coats, probably put on like three or four coats or, we'll see. I'm just gonna try and do really light coats Sure, you can see kind of. Yeah, kind of. Real quick. Whoa, I just put that on a lot right away. Okay, look here. Look here. Look here. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, so we'll try it back. I'm just going to try and really like press it. Press it back in. Just put that lot of paint off. I'm just going to get a tool here. Turn the wig Get these. Get off. Cheek. Let's spray off your guys. Okay, it looks good. So, hopefully, it's fine. Oh, okay. well, so, there, uh, my helmet could possibly be ruined and require a lot more work, or it could look really great. Hopefully that's what it is. Um, so I put the first coat on. Honestly, it looks a little bit too thick, maybe. Could be a little bit too thick. So I'm going to let it dry. We'll give it another coat or two. And... Uh, Oh no, that's no good. Oh wait, no, that's fine, never mind. <laughs> One of the second layers peeled off like crazy. And I thought it was the first layer and I was like, oh no. So I have finished. I printed out the little Greeblies. So this guy, oh boy. This guy goes on the, you know, right here. And then we got one of these. This goes on the, uh, on the that circle spot on the ear right there. And then the other side doesn't have one because it has the range finder. And then I have the two aerator things. So I 3D printed those. They look really good. They um, These have a, just a tiny bit of stringing, so I'm just going to hit them with a heat gun real quick. Uh, if you don't know, if your print has stringing, you can just very lightly hit it with a heat gun. Or even if you have a hot enough blow dryer and the strings will just like, sh like shrink away. Um, just be really careful because I actually... Uh, I have this um, head of the Staff of Ra from Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark um, that I printed the other day and I'm actually printing another one now because I was trying to get rid of some stringies and I wasn't paying attention and this one got all melted. So you can see the bird head looks horrible. This one looks better but that one is also a little melted because I tried to see if I could fix it. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually printing these again, which is fine because grams of filament for the whole thing. So it's fine, but it, it does take like 14 hours because, because I'm printing it at 0 0.06 millimeter layer heights, because that's like the lowest I would use with my 0.4 nozzle that I have. Uh, so, or whatever, 0 0.04, whatever the standard CR10S size is, pretty sure it's 0.4. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's the nozzle that I'm using. It's the standard one. And that the 0 0.06 is the lowest that I would go um, with that type of nozzle. So I actually want to get uh, a bunch of different nozzles so that I could print, you know, like really thin layer heights with smaller nozzles so that I could make some really detailed things possibly. Because um, this was pretty cool, you know. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of going on a tangent. But, but like this looks really good. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I, I'll do a video about it later once I've finished it. Um, but anyway, back to, back to the task at hand. Um, that's really about all you need to know. I got to look and see what color these guys are, but I'm just going to paint them. I'm not even going to do any sanding because they look perfect and they're, they're very small. So you won't even, you won't even notice really. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for right now. I'm going to give the, uh, the good old helmet, a one more, one more spray over, 
Uh, wow, that looks really shiny in the in the light. It, it is pretty. It is pretty shiny. Not that shiny. But yeah, I'm gonna give this one more layer of paint, and then we'll do some unwrapping. All right, so my paint is all dry, and I'm satisfied with the coats. Everything looks really nice, shiny blue. So now is the uh, moment of truth. I'm going to start peeling off the tape. Everybody wish me luck because this is definitely like the most nerve wracking. It's really cool if it's great and it's really horrible if it's not because you put a lot of effort into taping everything off and stuff like that. So, oh, and also a little bit of a advice. Um, you want to be kind of careful peeling stuff off because it, um, just the paint may stick to the actual, sorry, I'll stop. Uh, the paint will actually stick to the, uh, the tape sometimes. So you just will kind of want to be pretty gentle when you're peeling stuff off sometimes. I'm a little scared about this part. Here we go. This is the first line. So let's see what we're looking at. Oh, that looks pretty good. That's promising. This is also pretty promising. Grab these guys and see what they look like. Come on, mate. Pull out here. There you go. Ah, oh, there you go. So, so these are probably my worst uh, spots. They're definitely a little rough looking. Um, these lines. I. It was it was really hard to tape them off like that. So I'm just gonna weather them a bit, kind of knock them down. And hopefully they won't look too noticeable. Because <laughs> right now it literally looks like somebody drew them on with uh, like a child, <laughs> basically. So, so yeah, I'm going to weather them and I'm just trying to make sure to make them look you know, pretty good. So that they, so that they, uh, they don't leave them over there. Um, let's see. I guess when we're sitting here, we'll wait for real. I guess when we're sitting here, I'll kind of update you. I start printing my... Um, my ooh, ooh, yeah. I started printing. Sorry, I can't focus every time I pull it off. I <laughs> I gotta focus on this again. Oh boy. Um, so I started printing my the uh, Indiana Jones Staff of Raw again, and it actually it's really annoying. Uh, if anybody, I'll tell you guys about this so that if um, anybody knows the solution, I have a CR10s, um, and mine will just randomly stop like literally just stop moving um just out of nowhere you know like i'll be printing along and it'll it'll say nothing on the side it won't say pause like i have the uh oh yeah that's freaking nice look at that look at that oh that's so sick oh man i'm i'm happy i'm happy about that um it'll literally just it'll be like printing along and all of a sudden it'll just stop out of nowhere. Um, I can't understand why. Uh, it doesn't show any any like codes. Um, it doesn't show any codes or any like, um, what's it called? Any, um, uh, you know, like nothing shows up on the, on the, the screen, you know, the little display screen, nothing says anything. Um, so I, I can't figure out why it stops. It just stops out of nowhere. Like, it's so weird. It literally just stops moving. The nozzle stops moving. And, uh, and it, it, you can see that, like, over time, as, um, as my, like, if I, you know, when I don't notice it right away, as it uh, just keeps sitting there, it'll, it, there's a, like a little bit of, um, it, like, you know, the filament will be kind of leaking out. You can see, or not leaking, just like oozing out. So like when I remove the print from the bed, there's just like a little, um, you know, like little, little like leakage bump on, on where it stopped. And, uh, Oh man, this is so satisfying. You have no idea. This is the best part. I can't understand why. Uh, and I've like posted in Facebook forums before, and um, 
all kinds of stuff trying to trying to figure out and nobody everybody always says they're like well did you run out of filament you, are you using your filament sensor and i'm not using my filament sensor um i i unplugged that because it kind of started to malfunction which is kind of what happens with most uh with most uh cr10 cr10s cr 10 or whatever um it starts to malfunction at some point and then you know like it'll stop it at random times and say like there's no filament when there's obviously filament in there um so i have that unplugged and i'm using that little you know like extra little thingy that uh that they send for when it stops working because they know it's gonna stop working um and so i cannot understand why that's so nice. Like, look at that. It's coming along great. Um, so I, I can't understand why it stops. So if you guys, so if you guys, uh, by any chance know why, please let me know if you have any suggestions or I'm open to everything. But anyway, the whole point of that story, the whole beginning of that story was, uh, that I had to I, I restarted these guys, you know, like I had said, because I melted these and, um, and then like an hour and a half in, it did that. It stopped and I have no idea why. So I just restarted it again. So if you guys happen to know a solution to that, please let me know. It would be greatly appreciated. Oh, this is satisfying. I'm so happy that everything is turning out good. The unfortunate part is there's still some of my pencil marks. So I'm going to have to uh, try and get rid of those. A or B turn them into letters somehow. So it is what it is. I'm not, I don't, I don't really, I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just wait, 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 wait. Everybody take, take a peek. Look at this beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. Ooh. Look at that. Look at... <laughs> That's so sick. I'm so happy with that. This is going to look so good when it's all weathered and doesn't look bright white. Um. I am finished pulling it all off and it looks incredible. I'm so happy with it. Look at the front. That is so nice. And the cheeks. So, and these from far away <laughs> don't look bad. This side looks better, I think. Maybe. Eh, I can't tell. Um, so basically now the next steps are... Um, I have to, we're going to paint the teeth in, in most pictures of the clone wars, they don't actually have this piece right here. It's just goes and then the visor. Um, 
So I'm, I haven't decided what I'm going to do there yet, but I have to put this guy in and then we are going to be painting and gluing the aerators and stuff in so that they can, well, they almost don't fit. Interesting. That's good to know. Very close. Um, then we got, let's see, this guy goes, I don't actually know where this guy goes. It goes somewhere in there. <laughs> I'll check uh, on some pictures and like what my resin one looks like. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to paint the teeth. Possibly this, possibly this. Uh, and then we have to get the red. So there are two red dots here and a little cool red arrow point diamond thing. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I know it kind of got into a little bit of a long one, but there's always information that I feel like I need to share with you guys. I've been trying to cut them down because I know they're so long, but uh, hopefully I'll get better at that as I keep going. This helmet's turning out super, super good, and I'm really excited for you guys to see the finish of it. If you like this kind of content, definitely let me know by hitting the like button or commenting down below. If you have any questions, always comment down below. I'd love to answer any of them. Also, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at K2ProductionsYT. You can send me your builds or just ask questions or just if you want some insight on behind the channel. I'm trying to post more. I post a little bit on my Instagram, post some updates on my Twitter. So I'm, I'm trying to get it a little bit more out there. Finally, you guys know what to do. If you'd like to support this channel, definitely share this with a friend who is just as obsessed with Star Wars as you are, or he just likes to make something, or he likes 3D printing, I don't know. As long as he likes this stuff, you tell him about it. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you here next time in the studio for another installment of the Fives Trooper build, or one of the other things that you might want to check out. But stay safe out there, guys. Have a good one and go out and make something.